This is Middle Class Matt from Don'tBuyTheHype.Blogspot.com, and I am Sports Genius. Now, I've been more like Mediocre Matt over the last two weeks. I'm usually all over it with the picks. I pick around 70% of the games consistently. Some weeks a lot better, some weeks a little lower, but on average about 70%. I pick always, if you've been watching my videos, against Chris Collinsworth and Phil Sims. I'm still ahead of Phil Sims, but Chris Collinsworth you know, snuck by me one game, and they both beat me last week. I was 8-8 eight and eight a week ago, um, or two weeks ago, and then last week I was 9-7. and seven. So very mediocre performances for me. I'm usually, you know, around, like I said, 70-75%. If I'm going to pick 16 games, I'm going to get 11-12 right usually. So I'm going to try to get back on my winning ways this week. But a lot of tough games to pick. And and, and, and last week, even though I was 9-7 and seven, and I didn't watch enough football, and I really could have done a lot better, Games that I missed, most of them were decided by less than three points. That's just how tough the NFL is. So, let me go ahead and start with my picks. The first pick, I have no confidence in. Not a bit. It's Cincinnati, Philadelphia. Now, Cincinnati is the far better team, but they're on the road. They have a young nucleus. Now, they have a great front seven, or a good, a really good front seven. And they can really get after a quarterback, like um, the rookie uh, playing for uh, Philadelphia. But... Phillies at home, they're playing for Andy Reid's job. They've seen they've got things corrected. I'm just going to have to uh, take Philly at home and uh, take them 27-24. Dangerous pick. Wouldn't be surprised if I was wrong. Picked Cincinnati last re- week, and they lost by one point to uh, Dallas. And I even said that I thought that game would come down to the last possession, so happened. Next game is uh, N- New York Giants versus the Atlanta Falcons. They're at Atlanta, that's an advantage, but it seems like the Giants, they always get it together in December, they're going to put it together. Atlanta seems to be, you know, having some struggles of late. Atlanta could easily win this game, but I'm going to take the Giants 34-27 to beat the Atlanta Falcons. Minnesota at St. Louis, another one. Who do you pick? I mean, these teams almost have identical records, and uh, both dome teams. They are playing at St. Louis, which is an advantage for them. But Minnesota seems to be able to run the ball, and they seem to be able to run the ball against anybody. So I'm going to take take that uh, as the advantage that Minnesota is going to have to be able to win this game. I think both defenses are pretty good, but I think the ability to run the ball, Adrian Peterson to be able to run the ball, if he can run against the Bears, you can run just about against anybody. And I'm going to take Minnesota to win that game 2016 in a low-scoring affair. Jacksonville at Miami. I'm going to take Miami in this game, 23-20. Green Bay at Chicago, another tough game to pick. The Bears really need this game, and they're playing for Lovey Smith, but I just think the Packers are just tough to pick against Rodgers. And it's, and it's a division game, and it's just, to me, that elite quarterback always gives you the advantage. And Green Bay seems to be putting it together while the Bears seem to be having a lot of problems. They seem to be going in the wrong direction at the end of the season. So I'm going to take Green Bay to win this game 27-23. Washington at Cleveland. Now, RG3 is hurt. Uh, he, he seems like he's going to play, but Cousins looked good when he came in. You don't know. He only came in and played for a few plays. But still, Cleveland's not a great team. They're going to Cleveland. Cleveland definitely could win this game. They're an improving young team, but I'm going to take Washington 28-24. Denver at Baltimore. Now, this is a game I wouldn't be surprised at all if Baltimore wins. They're at home, and they're one of the better teams. But Denver has gone from the team, you know, there's those teams that beat teams that are not as good as they are, games they're supposed to win. And then there's the elite teams, like the New England Patriots, who destroy good teams. I mean, look at the last few games in New England destroyed good teams. Denver's becoming one of those elite teams. And it's no coincidence because Peyton Manning's there. And the defense is also playing well. So I think they're going to be able to go on the road against a really poor defense. The Ravens are a really poor defense without Ray Lewis. Terrell Suggs has been hurt, you know, a lot of the season. And I think that they can they can score points. And I think their defense is going to give um, the Ravens problems as well. So they are traveling. They are doing the west to east coast. That's always uh, iffy. 
but I think they're going to go and show they're one of the elite teams and win 30-24 in Baltimore. Next game is Indianapolis versus Ed Houston. Well, we've all seen that Andrew Luck is the next star at quarterback. And a quarterback like, and, and, and Houston has trouble with star quarterbacks. Brady, Aaron Rodgers, lit him up. Lit him up. You've seen that. But Houston is now playing for the division. They now know they can't. They don't have any cushion. This is a rookie. He is on the road. I think Houston's defense bounces back. Watts and company, you know, get after luck. And I think Houston wins this game. Um, and a little bit wider gap than maybe some people think. I think they'll win 34-23. So I think they'll win by a large margin. Tampa Bay at New Orleans. I think Tampa Bay is a better team than New Orleans. But they, they're not good against they're not they're not very good at stuff in the past. And there's just not too many gunslingers better than uh, Drew Brees. Maybe even ever. I mean, he can sling it. So I think he slings the ball all over the field. New Orleans is a good home team for the most part. I say New Orleans wins this game 31-27, a high-scoring affair against uh, Tampa Bay. Detroit at Arizona. I have no confidence in Arizona. They're having big-time quarterback troubles, and everybody saw what happened last week against uh, Seattle. Now, they're probably going to try to bounce back and play harder, go out there and play with some heart. But still, I'm going to put uh, Detroit winning this game 38-20. Even though Detroit's on the road in a large margin, Detroit has not been playing bad of late. Even though they've lost some games to some good teams, they have not played bad. Carolina Panthers at San Diego. Everybody knows the Panthers are my team. And I think they can win this game. But San Diego's kind of getting it together. They're not, they're not playing bad. And their defense is pretty good. They can stop the rush. I think they get after Cam Newton, especially on the road. I think they're not. They they, they they make the Panthers throw the ball. I think the Panthers struggle with that. And with that, I say San Diego wins 27-24. Seattle at Buffalo, that's the, the west to east coast. It's always tough. But I think Seattle is, is putting themselves up there. You know, they want to go to the playoffs. They know they've got a win to do that. I say they win 23-17 at Buffalo. Pittsburgh at Dallas, tough game. Probably could flip a coin. I say that all the time, but the truth, you probably could flip a coin and get just as good of a prediction on this. Pittsburgh's tough. I think they're going to want to go in there and beat up Dallas. They're going to want to rebound from an embarrassing loss last week. Dallas isn't a hard place to play. I say they win 30-28 to in a close one that comes right down to the wire against Dallas. So that game will probably be decided by a field goal or a late touchdown. Then uh, Kansas City at Oakland. Really don't have any reason except the Oakland's at home. Two bad teams. I like Oakland's offense a little better. That's that's about it. So uh, Oakland's a team to me is underachieved. I didn't think they would be a playoff team, but I thought they could win seven or eight games. They haven't done it, so they've, they're very much underachieved to me. So I'm going to put Oakland winning that game 24-20 to over a bad Kansas City team. Sam Fran goes to New England. Now this is a little bit of a trap because New England has really beaten, in lately, good teams badly. And now they have another good team. But they're at home. And they have all the same recipe they had to beat Houston. And I think 49ers are kind of a similar team to Houston. So I think they beat them uh, impressively, but not as impressively as last week. 37-20, New England. The Jets at Tennessee. Tennessee was able to put some points up against a bad Indianapolis team. A bad defense. Indianapolis isn't a, a bad offense. And obviously, they're very good offensively. But I don't think Indianapolis has the uh, the defense that the Jets have. And so I believe the uh, Jets will be able to keep Tennessee in check, who's not as bad of a team as their record. Uh, I saw them play. They're uh, not a bad team. I like a lot of things they have, got go they have going on. They can run the football. Chris Johnson, pretty good team. But Jets go on the road and win 27-24. Well, those are all my picks. Uh, let's see if I can get back to my double-digit winning ways. And this is Middle Class Matt. Check in next time.